Hey, what up you guys? It's Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dish. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Escape from New York. It's my all-time favorite John Carpenter movie and also my favorite uh, post-apocalyptic movie. You know, I used to watch this thing over and over as a kid, and um, back then, uh, there was no eBay or nothing, and um, I used to try to find this, I used to call up video stores and ask them if they would sell me a copy, because it was out of print for years, and hoping that they would play it on TV, even so that I could just tape it off TV, but they didn't. And then eventually, after I think like maybe four years of looking or something, um, I did find a copy at a video store, and this is that copy. I don't even know if it would be considered a post-apocalyptic movie as much as a prison escape movie. Because it's not like an apocalypse of the world. It's just they section off New York and that becomes a prison. And so anyways, the president, his plane crashes down into New York. They take him hostage. The prisoners take him hostage. And now it's up to uh, Kurt Russell to get him back. Kurt Russell's a prisoner and they give him a plea deal where if he gets the president back he can have a pardon they give him 24 hours or else he'll die like they inject a thing in his neck and isaac hayes is in this isaac hayes has the president hostage and isaac hayes is the duke of new york and so he's driving around with uh chandeliers disco chandeliers on his the hood of his cadillac i always loved that this movie didn't have like advanced technology it was like a downgrade of what already existed like, instead of them having, like, futuristic guns and shit, they had, like, really shitty bow and arrows. And instead of having, like, you know, futuristic cars, they had all old beat-up cars. The government had advanced technology, but the prisoners, you know, they were stuck with, like, all the shit that got left over when um, they sectioned New York off. He's on the other side of town, and we got no wheels. The deal is off. Just calm. I always laugh when he's going through the tunnels and he encounters the homeless people. He's like, nice night, chief. Nice boots. Nice boots. And then he finds the guy with the tracking device, and it's not Donald Pleasance. It's not the president. It's just some crazy drunk homeless guy that starts singing uh, Christmas carols or something. He goes like, I knew when I got this thing, I'd be president. And a ton of Italian movies uh, tried to copy this movie, you know, like... Um, 1990, The Bronx Warriors, Escape from the Bronx, all of those kind of movies. Just a classic. And Snake Plissken is such a classic character. He just doesn't give a fuck about anything they're doing. He just happens to fall into this plot. One of my favorite lines in this is when um, the guy's like trying to convince him why he should do this. And he goes like, I don't give a fuck about your war or your president. And the guy that plays uh, Romero, you know, a little nod to George Romero there. He's awesome. He's like this creepy, um, he almost looks like uh, David Bowie or something. Uh, he's like this creepy laughing fiend guy. And it's the dude from uh, Assault on Precinct 13 that shoots the, shoots the kid buying an ice cream cone. One of my favorite Carpenter soundtracks on this thing too. And it does have a sequel, Escape from L.A., which is cool, but this one to me is the classic. This is the masterpiece. Absolute classic. I'm going to give this one 5 out of 5 stars. That's Escape from New York. Alright you guys, this is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash. Let me know you've seen Escape from New York. Now let me know your favorite John Carpenter movie. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.